हरिकेन मिल्टन इज सो मच इन न्यूज आज हर जगह आप देखें हरिकेन मिल्टन की बात हो रही है हरिकेन या साइक्लोन इनकी इंटेंसिटी बढ़ती जा रही है ये बार बार न्यूज में आ रहे हैं बहुत सारे डिवास्टेशन हो रहे हैं एंड दे डोंट डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन द कंट्रीज दैट दे आर हिटिंग एंड आज वी वुड लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट कि ये हरिकेन या साइक्लोन ये क्या होते हैं कैसे बनते हैं एंड कितने तरह के होते हैं इसके अलावा आज वी ऑल्सो लाइक टू टॉक अबाउट कि ये इनकी कैटेगराइजेशन कैसे होती है कैसे इनको आइडेंटिफाई करते हैं अंडर डिफरेंट हेड्स इसके साथ जो न्यूज में आजकल बहुत सारे वर्ड्स आ रहे हैं लाइक टू लर्न दोज वर्ड्स ऑल्सो विच आर एसोसिएटेड विथ हरिकेन एंड साइक्लोन एंड ऑल्सो वी वुड लाइक टू नो दैट दिस पर्टिकुलर मिल्टन हरिकेन which is going to hit in a few hours from the time i'm going to record it i'm, I'm recording it for you uh, how it is going to really be uh, seen and the terms which are associated with it it's going to be one of the most difficult time for the florida state uh, they haven't had this this uh, hurricane of this nature in a century let us try and understand uh, various aspects associated with uh, this uh, hurricane इन फैक्ट हरिकेन कहें इसे आप या कहें साइक्लोन ये सर्कुलेटरी विंड होते हैं जो कि एक एक लो प्रेशर के आसपास ये बहुत तेजी से घूमते होते हैं जोग्राफर्स हैव डिवाइडेड देम इनटू टू कैटेगरीज वन इज ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन अंदर इज टेम्परेट साइक्लोन वेरी ऑब्वियसली इट इज डिविजन इज बेस्ड ऑन द लोकेशन वेयर दे आर फॉर्म बट उनकी जेनेसिस भी अलग हो जाती है जैसे अगर हम बात करते हैं टेम्परेट साइक्लोन की तो टेम्परेट साइक्लोन इज मोस्टली टू बी फाउंड इन 30 टू 60 डिग्री पैरल्स वेर एज ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन से अगर बात करें तो दे आर टू बी फाउंड इन बिटवीन आई मीन ऑफकोर्स इट इट वैर इज बट मोस्टली फाइव टू ट्वेंटी डिग्री पैरल्स दैटिट्यूड सो टू से वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट दीज टू साइक्लोन्स आर डिफरेंट ऑफकोर्स आई बी फोकस टुडे टॉकिंग अबाउट ट्रॉपिकल साइक्लोन बट अगर हम टेम्परेट साइक्लोन की बात करें तो टेम्परेट साइक्लोन इन द टेम्परेट जोन थर्टी टू सिक्सटी लैक्स की बात करें अगर हम तो वो अपने प्रोसेस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन में थोड़े साइक्लोजेनेसिस में जिसको कहते हैं स्लाइटली डिफरेंट है वो फ्रंटल साइक्लोन है जब कोल्ड और कूल एयर इसको रिलेटिवली कहें तो कोल्ड एंड वार्म हो सकता है बट चूंकि जिस एरिया की बात करते हैं वहां पे वार्म की ज्यादा संभावना नहीं है तो बिटवीन 30 एंड 60 डिग्री लैटीट्यूड जब कोल्ड एंड कूल एयर मास्क जब मिलते हैं तो उनके अंदर एक शेयर पैदा होता है और शेयर से वो एक दूसरे की टेरिटरी में इन्वेट करते हैं जिसकी वजह से एक सर्कुलेटरी मोशन पैदा हो जाता है और जो सर्कुलेटरी मोशन पैदा होता है जिससे एक जो सर्कुलेटरी मोशन का एक हेड है दैट अगर सर्कुलेटरी मोशन अगर आप थ्री डायमेंशन में देखें तो इट बी लाइक दिस इसको अगर ऐसे समझे तो फिर ये जो सर्कुलेटरी मोशन है इनका चौक हो जाता है ऊपर से इसको ऑक्लूजन बोलते हैं और एक सर्कुलेटरी मोशन अलग निकल जाता है दिज आर नॉट एज डिटिंग बट देर मोर रेगुलर बट देन दन विच आई एम एक्चुअली इंटरेस्टेड इन टॉकिंग अबाउट इज नॉन फ्रंटल साइक्लोन नॉन फ्रंटल साइक्लोन ये आजकल काफी चर्चा में है बिकॉज ऑफकोर्स मिल्टन इज द thing which we are talking about in our country also it is affecting tropical cyclones tropical cyclones are non frontal cyclone ab hua kya hai ki global warming hoti ja rahi hai global warming nahi hui thi tab bhi aap payenge ki uh, ocean is the one which receives most of the heat so chote chote low pressure ban jate hain aur low pressure banne ki wajah se aap payenge ki they would be attracting some local cooler wind towards them एंड जो लोकल विंड जब उनके आसपास आते हैं तो एक कोरेलिस फोर्स काम करता है और उनको एक सर्कुलेटरी मोशन दे देता है बिकॉज वो सीधे डायरेक्शन में विंड नहीं चलती है और नॉर्दर्न हेमिस्फेयर में उनका डायरेक्शन बन जाता है एंटी क्लॉक और एंटी क्लॉक डायरेक्शन बन के वो छोटा सा एक जिसको आप ट्रॉपिकल डिप्रेशन कहते हैं और वो एक आई वुड इमेजिन दैट करीब 38 माइल के आसपास तक के जब उनकी स्पीड चली जाती है तो उनको हम एक ट्रॉपिकल डिप्रेशन के नाम से जानते हैं सर्कुलेटरी मोशन थोड़ी बहुत आंधी के फॉर्म में हम कह सकते हैं उसको जब ये और इंटेंसिफाई कर जाते हैं और 
जब ये आसपास में बहुत सारे ऐसे सर्कुलेटरी मोशन है जैसे कि एक लो प्रेशर है वहां से हवा उठी आसपास की हवा भरने आई और उसको एक सर्कुलेटरी मोशन मिल गया वो ऊपर उठ गई और अगर वैसे छोटे छोटे ऐसे बहुत सारे मिल जाए तो ये सर्कुलेटरी मोशन बड़ा हो जाता है और इसको हम ट्रॉपिकल स्ट्रॉन्ग के रूप में देख सकते हैं जिनको कैटेगराइज किया गया है थर्टी से सेवेंटी माइल्स पर आवर और उसके बाद जब ये कुछ इससे ज्यादा इंटेंसिफाई हो जाता है तब इनको हम कहने लगते हैं अलग अलग नाम से जानने लगते हैं हरिकेन ऑफकोर्स इज वन ऑफ दोस्ट सेवेंटी फोर नॉटिकल बेसिकली मैं बेसिकली मैं साफिर सिमसन हरिक जो इनके हरिकेन के विंड स्केल हैं उसके बारे में बात कर रहा हूं साफिर सिमसन हरिकेन विंड स्केल के स्केल के बारे में भी आपको थोड़ी देर के बाद बताऊंगा लेकिन पहले एक चीज समझ लें यहाँ पे जब ये छोटे छोटे सर्कुलेटरी मोशन पैदा होते हैं वाटर पे पैदा होते हैं और ये धीरे धीरे ये एक सर्कुलेटरी मोशन एक चिमनी के फॉर्म में आई के आसपास आई द लोएस्ट प्रेशर एरिया जो रिलेटिवली काम भी होता है वहां पे जब ये विंड मिलकर के ऊपर जाती हैं तो ये करीब पंद्रह किलोमीटर तक ऊपर जा सकती हैं और वहां जाकर के ये कूल होकर के कंडेंस होती हैं और फिर वो एक बादल के फॉर्म में बनने लगती है बट जैसे ये इनस्टेबिलिटी रहती है आसपास के ऐसे छोटे छोटे बने हुए जो सर्कुलेटरी मोशन है जब मिल जाते हैं दे कैन रियली रियली बी वेरी वेरी पावरफुल एंड जब इनके मिलकर के पावरफुल बनने की प्रक्रिया चलती रहती है जैसे ही वो लैंड पे जाते हैं तो इनका बनना और जुड़ करके और पावरफुल होना दोनों ही रुक जाता है जिसकी वजह से यू फाइन दैट दे आर आफ्टर द लैंड दे आर नॉट एज पावरफुल बट यू टॉक अबाउट द कोन ऑफ Florida, there they are going to be very powerful because the area where they are likely to die is not all that widespread. It's not all that great landmass that you have got. So it's going to be very very devastating, so to say. So let us learn those Safir Simpson uh, hurricane scale uh, because you are reading in the newspaper these days. Uh, cat one, cat two, cat three, cat four, cat five. Cat five super nahi hota hai, and then those are like. Uh, जैसे मैंने बताया कि ट्रॉपिकल डिप्रेशन एंड ट्रॉपिकल स्टॉम के बाद जो आता है वो हरिकेन की कैटेगरी में चला जाता है साइक्लोनिक कैटेगरी में चला जाता है एंड दैट इज वेयर वी हैव गोट 74 टू 95 फाइव माइल्स पर आवर दैट इज कैट वन इट इज बैड डिवर्सिटेटिंग बट नॉट एज सीरियस एज कैट टू कैट टू वुड बी नाइनटी सिक्स टू हंड्रेड माइल्स पर आवर कैट थ्री वुड बी हंड्रेड इलेवन टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी माइल्स पर आवर Cat four will be one thirty to one fifty six mile per hour, and cat five very obviously is one fifty seven miles per hour and more. So one would imagine that this categorization that we have got about them, they are are uh, definitely when they are being most devastated. And one fifty seven se upar agar aap sochte hain miles per hour, it is like even a small pebble can act like a a, a major major कैनन बॉल बिकॉज यू ऑल नो दैट एक्सप्रेशन कितनी ज्यादा हो जाएगी चाहे मास उसका छोटा है तो इट कैन बी वेरी वेरी डिवास्टेटिंग ऑन सच ए हाई स्पीड दैट वन कैन इमेजिन वेल दे लॉट्स ऑफ टर्म्स विच यू आर गोइंग टू रीड अबाउट मिल्टन हरिकेन के बारे में आई वुड लाइक यू टू क्लरिफाई दोज टर्म्स विच आर सोचित वन वी कॉल इट एज आई आई ऑफ द हरिकेन is the central most part which is where the lowest pressure is there and relatively calm because the wind which is trying to come here since they do not have any low pressure further they go circulating around that and that is the i uske aas pass ek chimney ban jati and that is what we call them as i wall chimney around the i and then that is where uh, you would find that uh, as they are uh, getting filled by the cooler air as they go up they get cooler and they get filled then they can possibly uh, become weaker but then also uh, there is some concept here as eye wall replacement as we have a massive eye as actually as uh, it is having circulatory motion but if you have got uh, a particular uh, portion of eye is chopped off and a secondary eye develops the moment the secondary eye develops the intensity of circulatory motion goes down and that is uh, called as eye wall replacement eye wall replacement would actually bring down the intensity but then if they join two of the eyes join they become more more intensified and that is what where we find metallurgists finding it extremely difficult 
to uh, prognosticate because they suddenly join and suddenly break and that is why uh, if you have been following uh, in last few hours the intensity of uh, hurricane milton has been changing it was uh, one stage called as it is going to hit at uh, cat 5 then they suddenly they reduced it down to cat 3 but then again they have uh, while i'm recording this they have again put it back to cat 5 god knows when it actually comes how devastating when cat 3 is very very devastating well uh, landfall is a word which you i have been also using and you also come across this word landfall basically refers to the land at which the uh, storm is coming in contact the the cyclone is coming in contact with the land that we have got that's what we call them as landfall landfall uh, that you would find in the code of florida is going to be in the central part that we have got uh, unlike the previous one which was slightly to the north so but it's going to help hit the tampa region uh, the largest uh, uh, human settlement in that region that you have got and that is going to be more devastating and that is what uh, uh, we understand the word and then quite often with the landfall what they associate is dying of cyclone the cyclone dies because those cyclogenesis or the formation of cyclone is not happening anymore because all those uh, warmer waters are not there on the land then another thing not to be forgotten here if you see that wind is circulating in anti-clockwise direction the site of the cyclone a person is located or the settlement is located or the region is located that also has bearing on the kind of damages it is causing let's say if somebody is on the right side if the cyclone is coming in anti-clockwise the one which is on the right side considering the direction from where the cyclone is coming if somebody is on the right side and then the cyclone hits the back the right side of the person is going to be more devastating because the kind of uh, energy it has got the kind of humidity it has got the kind of surges it can create is far more stronger than the one when it has already exhausted dissipated part of its energy and it is on the left side of the cyclone so in that region whichever region it is hitting the depending on the nature and the direction of the cyclone because i hope you understand the cyclones in the northern hemisphere hurricanes in the northern hemisphere have anti-clockwise direction and then in southern hemisphere they've got a clockwise direction so the side of the cyclone is also going to be of importance and then devastation has to be seen from that angle storm surge is, 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 is another word which they quite often use storm surge is the rise in the sea level you can easily understand if the uh, one cubic meter of water how much of energy it will carry when it is being aided by 157 miles per hour the kind of mass it has got and that is the real worry that is the real concern that we have got it, it will be powerful just one cubic meter of water with so much of uh, uh, mass of the ocean you can easily imagine that how powerful it actually is storm surge is a word to be formed cyclogenesis i was using the word that means formation of the cyclone then there's also a word they use is uh, dorian effect dorian effect is like uh, for the tropical cyclone they really are uh, important because while the cyclone is moving on the water as it comes in the contact of warm water more warm and still warm water they become more and more intensified for the simple reason they would also be having that energy to lift the uh, air further up in in the form of a uh, current and then that uh, Dorian effect intensifies the cyclone or hurricane so to say and then uh, uh, we have got uh, various local names let me just clarify here itself because these uh, uh, cyclones they have got a uh, definitely a local name and then we should uh, understand them uh, carefully like uh, I've been using the word uh, hurricane hurricane is uh, definitely uh, in in the area where um, uh, they are actually happening now in that uh, American region or Central American region. We call them as hurricane. And then typhoon is in North Pacific region that we have got cyclone or chakrabat, so to say. Indian Ocean, South Pacific region, and South Atlantic region they call as uh, cyclones, chakrabat, so to say. Willy Willy uh, is the name that is uh, given to it in uh, North Australia region. And uh, Baguio is, is actually a city by the name Baguio is there in 
Philippines. So in, in the Philippines, they're called as uh, Bogbio. And in, Jap in Japan region, they're called as Taifu. Uh, uh, we, but, but then uh, another word which is uh, also used uh, in Japan and also in Taiwan is Typhoon. Taifu or Typhoon in that region that it's called. And Tofane. God knows if they're all inspired by the word Tufan that we use in our country. Tofane is T-O-F-A-N-E. Uh, is in Samoa region, uh, Samoa Island, you know, that uh, strategically also very important. Uh, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, I would say that in uh, South Pacific region, uh, middle of, I would say, between uh, uh, Hawaii Island and New Zealand, somewhere there you have got a Samoa Island. That's what they are uh, uh, having this word. Anyway, these are the local names that uh, uh, hurricane to uh, Typhoon to Typhoon to Willy Willy, whatever that they are. I like to give one more word, and I expect you to learn this also, is Fujiwara effect. Fujiwara effect is like uh, when we have got uh, two, uh, I, I would imagine that uh, uh, interaction of two hurricanes or two cyclone, whatever, when the two interaction comes and then the moment they come in contact with each other, they suddenly change their direction. This is called Fujiwara effect. So the scientists, while they give a pathway, but at the same time, they will cross their finger because the Fujiwara effect, because of the many more uh, Dorian effects happening on the, in the way, many more cyclogenesis happening on the way, the suddenly is likely to shift the direction. And that is why it is extremely, extremely difficult to predict the path of the uh, circulatory motion that we have got. This is called as a Fujiwara effect. And, and I, I think one must be uh, very clear about uh, the difficulty in uh, predicting their names for the reason uh, they, are, uh, they, are, they are shifting so much. Anyway, let's uh, talk a little bit about uh, something which we have so much in news that we are uh, hearing about is uh, the cyclone Milton that we have got. Uh, it is expected that by uh, Wednesday evening, early of Thursday of Florida, it's likely to hit there. And then it happens uh, in such a quick time. I mean, we recently had less than two weeks ago, Helen was mm -hmm. the one which was affecting the, uh, the big band, they call it, like the area where the Florida area is there, that for the north of uh, Tempa region where this is going to hit. So in, in, in that region, it was basically uh, affecting, Helen was affecting this area in, in less than two weeks ago. And suddenly this one also comes. and. Uh, this is going to be far more devastating. Even those debris that was caused by the previous uh, uh, hurricane or cyclone is still to be cleared. And then the new one is coming even with greater intensity. I think this is going to be far more devastating. And this has developed our um, just nearby area, not too far, Western Caribbean Sea. That's where it actually developed around 5th and 7th of October. By fifth uh, evening, uh, everybody, all the meteorologist scientists knew that it's going to be really, really uh, devastating. And by 7th of October, uh, they were very sure it's going to hit that, that central part of the cone of Florida. And that's where it's going to be real damages causing. Of course, you remember now the right side or the left side of the hurricane where it's going to cause more damage. And uh, we also understand that uh, this Categorization of it is continuously shifting. Uh, it, it was category five intensity, then it was reduced to category three, and again it is the, the, the latest I could pick up just a few minutes ago. It's again been raised to category five, 157 MPHN greater, and that's going to be very, very devastating. And then we are also seeing that uh, the state of Florida is in emergency, and then uh, uh, the president of uh, America talking about people to evacuate now. Now he was intense, intensifying on the word now uh, so much that you must leave now because the valuable lives uh, are at stake there. In fact, there are so many scary uh, advertisements are coming. If you are not evacuating, write your name on your arm. That's so scary to imagine. Write your name on your arm so that we get to know that who you were. I mean, that's really scary. The people are uh, so much scared, but then still there are some brave people 
are there in the hospital. There are some brave people who are there with those uh, aqua walls created and standing there and then trying to help people who are for some reason not able to evacuate. In fact, this is a very difficult time that we have got and with more and more uh, global warming happening where the ocean has taken most of the heat of the global warming, they are responding uh, to the, their own heat budget and then we have got the frequency and more so intensity of the cyclone is growing much more rapidly because this Dorian effect is actually actually is contributing for the hurricanes or cyclones to intensify more and more with every adding temperature every adding uh, uh, heat to the planet earth the oceans are responding in a very very devastating manner one has to be careful a big lesson to be taken from here and I hope uh, you have been able to understand the various terms which are associated with cyclone and how the cyclone in tropical region happens. Our cyclone is this tropical cyclone, of course, and it's uh, uh, definitely is mostly in the uh, eastern coast more common. But then, of course, uh, western coast also has it, but not as in, uh, with high intensity. And then remember the direction of the cyclone, which is anticlockwise in northern hemisphere. I hope some uh, basic concepts are clear to you and uh, I wish all those people in the Florida and wherever they are, they are safe and then, uh, and, and then the, the data and the facts that we gather from us, give us uh, more, gives us more direction for being more prepared in times to come.